The Apple Cup has always been one of college football's great rivalries, and while this is like the four-hour, three-overtime war out there in Pullman, 2021, Washington State top. Non-trend, non-issue. You're never worried about it. That's what I'm saying. I think I'm going to have to take over the good last time. There he is. I'm a sophomore edge rusher here at the University of Washington. And we're going to head to the stadium, get ready, get some breakfast, and get ready for practice. day in the life. Me, my name is Brendan Jackson. It should be a pretty fun day. Me and my buddy have to film our podcast today. Gotta get the car washed. It's 6.30 right now, so got out of the house pretty early. And we got a little extra field work. You ready for this workout this morning? Oh yeah, let's go. Shouldn't be too bad. Where Robbie? Vlog day, man. What's going on? Chilling. Great yes, day to meet dog. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. <laughs> Finn grabbed me a banana this morning, and I'm an oatmeal guy in the morning, to be honest. So that's what we finna do here. Jaden Hicks himself? Is that you, first team? The GOAT, man. Right, freshman All-American. I'm looking at you. I'm done on the back. Trying to feel better. Good, good. Hey, what do you want, Cam? Directing traffic. Ward. Looking at so touchdown. All hail me. Beautiful woman out there. Um, you know, I just feel like I'm old, just old. You know, I'm born in the wrong time, and I'm a mature man that's looking for a mature partner. I need a best friend. I'm, I need someone to, you know, just be there and be there for me because I'm always there for her.
Coach, yes. what, what would you say, uh, how's the day energy in the weight room today? For us, it's Freaky Friday. Yep. I would definitely say it got a little freaky today. Oh, so it did. It did. Was, I got a little nervous. That was the energy. Very so freaky. very unexpected very for y'all, but exactly what we wanted. Good. Yeah. Hey, post practice, just got out of practice. Started pouring down rain at the end of practice. I don't know why. It seems clear the whole time and then just started pouring out of nowhere. But you feel me? We ain't here about to get this post practice pump in the weight room and stuff. You feel me? Just to get a little, a little extra work in. I just need to hear you. What's your opinion on WSU being a vet here at UW? Talking about little bro? Yeah. We don't need to think about little bro too much, bro. Like, they're a non threat, non issue. We never worried about it. What's up, man? I'm glad you see yourself. What's good, Vlog? It's your boy Kyle, aka K Money, man. Mm -hmm. I know you're new to WSU, bro. What What you think of the uh, the boys across the across the state? You know, what do you think of? Them? You know, I'm not too friendly with them. You know what I'm saying? It's really, you know, I'm gonna drop a big bomb. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm here now, so ain't no love for them. It's all hey, we want all smoke with them. You know what I'm saying? They know what happened the last time we touched down in, in Seattle, so. I think I'm gonna have to take over what we did last time. There we go. <laughs> what do you think of uh, Washington? State? No, the, the, the team. Yeah. The Cougars. The Cougs? The Cougs, bro. Tell me your personal opinion on the Cougs. Fuck! I started, I ain't never lost with no Cougs. You ever gonna lose some Cougs? <laughs> you dub, purple, ugly color, for one. <laughs> I don't really like them. That a boy. I don't like the man, the myth, the legend. And Captain Connor, which what you think about you, Dub man? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call you back here. Yeah, just put the five mil in my car right now. What's good, gang? It's Dom. We help. What is your opinion on WSU? Oh my gosh, little bro, how you doing, little bro? Who? Little bro. What you think of you, Dub man? Uh, mm. We don't even call him WSU. What up, DJ? What up, baby? Man, you dumb. You dumb. Little bro. Mm. Hey. Alright man, I'm sitting here with the one and only Uno from Odunze. Oh my god. Data throw again. Odunze! What an adjustment! And them boys that's over on the other side. I mean, to me, that's Lil Bro. You know, Lil Bro. Hey, lame as hell, bro, to be honest. They're really sweet over there, for real. They part about that water and stuff. Yo, you want them to have this fun, you know what I'm saying? But when you step to you, it's like, you got to tell them that it's bro, you know what I'm saying? We're here with Jacobus, man. What, what'd you think of you, Dub, man? Man, you know, respect. Respect. I, I ain't gonna talk dirty nothing, but I'm looking forward to this year. Going to their house so we can show them. You Dub? Yeah, what do you think of him? You mean you Oh, okay. Good answer. Man, you know me, let Lil Bro know he's Lil Bro. Put him in his place. Bro, you know what I'm saying? You do love his, uh, the Lil Bro. Like, it's not my fault I was born first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's just how it go, man. Y'all gotta be Lil Bro. That lake life. We grit and grimy over here. We, we ain't got in the field. Nice. We really in the field and trenches. Then we feel that's our trenches. Then we feel that's our trenches. That's awesome, man. Gonna go upstairs, go eat some lunch, head to class. Got class at 1 30. It's 12 45 right now. So I'm gonna go eat a little bit of food, then be on the way to class. Man, it don't get no better than this, bro. She. Every day we walk through here. Man, academic excellence, bro. Our boy stay right. You see your boy, though. You see your boy. <laughs> Keep them grades right, man. We up here, recruiting lounge. Got, you know, ESPN always going, man. Stay updated with the sports in here, man. It's where we be eating breakfast in the morning. Where we ever, we got to hold down some events, anything like that. We be doing stuff like that. You know, you got this beautiful view every time you come up in here. Raining today, wet day outside, man. Seniors, look at them boys. These, these, I like to call them the old heads cause you know, I'm a young buck. So I call these my old heads, man. How you doing, man? It's your boy, the, the Don. And uh, I'm here with the boys. It's a great morning, Friday morning. You gotta earn your weekend, you know, and this is what we doing today. Have a boy. great day. God bless. I 
Got some good work today. Did a uh, little lower body workout in the weight room. Uh, hit up to a heavy, heavy doubles. It's like 11, 20, 11, 30 right now. Got to go back home, got 30 minutes of work. Then I got to head over and shoot another episode of my podcast. <laughs> hey, the boys. All right, ready. Do a little dope, just parked on campus. Going to my one and only class for today. Got sociology, sociology class, gonna go in there. Learn me some, take down some notes and stuff. Be a good student for the day. And then I'm gonna catch y'all when I get up out of there. D. Rich's house to film an episode of our podcast, Elevate Podcast, make sure you check it out. Just made it to D. Rich's house. I'm gonna head in there, film an episode. After that, gonna get a car wash. My car is really dirty right now. Uh, and then I'm gonna try and get some food and facility. Uh, we have dinner from like five to six, so run over there um, after that, and then head over to the rec, get an extra workout and get an extra lift in. How long did it take Coach Ayana Keone to uh, realize he has to keep you out of the weight room sometimes? It's like, hey, you know, Brent, I know you wanna go work out extra, but just, just cool it on some stuff. So we made an agreement, but you know, he still saw me at the rec a couple times. I just feel like if I'm in the facility another time, I just feel like I'm doing like football specific stuff, whereas I like to kind of go train other muscles out, you know, at the rec and whatnot. I feel like I can kind of just zone out and escape from, you know, football and school and all that. Yeah. Hey man, fresh out of class, back at the stadium, just got back. It was raining outside, so we was not walking on campus. So that's why y'all ain't get that part. But we back here, we in the weight room, heading to the nutrition room. We got some new weights in here. We got the custom plates and stuff. I was like, okay, okay. Our strength coaches be getting it in too, for sure. Look at this dude. <laughs> How you the last one to your house, bro? Bro, I was in a cold tub. So this is our setup. Little podcast setup right here. Nothing too crazy with it, um, because we're broke. Whoa. Okay. Come I mean, on. Look how he's dressed, man. You know this guy don't get money. Whoa! Like that. Thank you to your make it, buddy. <laughs> it's your boy, Devin Richardson. Linebacker here at WSU. My socials, Devin Richardson. We'll cut that out, cut that out, cut that out. <laughs> All right, good little episode. What'd you think of the episode today? Solid. Tell him. Another good one. All right, we'll be in Vegas tomorrow, so. Ooh. That'll be fun. Time to go get dinner. Man, we in the snack room, man. In the snack room, my dog Millie, who just came from class. Hey, Millie, bro, what you what you heating up, man? What you finna snack on post class snack? This will be mashed potatoes, chicken, lasagna, bro. Put some hot sauce on this chicken, bro. Mm -hmm. Let me see what you're talking about. Some hot She! That's what they're doing back in practice, bro. Come on, man, I gotta load up. Yeah, what you got, that Louisiana? Yeah, yeah, I gotta put on the chicken. Finna get right. I'm finna get right with some of these. I be having breakfast in the middle of the day type. Just get a little extra food in. Sandwich and some burritos. for to pop them in the microwave. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Here, I'll just show them the food again. That's what we got today. Hudson Cedarland. Hudson dot Cedarland. Yep. I'm gonna go head to the gas station. I'm gonna go get my car washed. And then I'm gonna head over to the wreck. For an extra lift. Early workout tomorrow, so I'll probably be in bed by like 10. Gotta get up at like five. So I need like seven hours, seven hours of sleep, whatnot. I think that's usually pretty optimal for me. Yeah, not too much work today, school work wise. Only had like that 30 minute block earlier, but besides that, nothing too. I see Mr. Cam Ward himself. Oh, let me, let me see the little car, man. Let Come me see on, the car. Let me get my hot start, oh, I got you, dog. Some of this right here. You already be knowing. This, this how you get your tires right. DJ <laughs> got it. I got it. Out of boy, man. Look, shine, look at this guy. Look at him. Mm. It ain't like BJ's yet. Let's see. Let's see a little. Let's see a little demo right here. It's my demo. So we can start off with you, man. <laughs> People don't know it. Why do you like to, you know, just shine the wheel? You got a wipe. See how that dirt right there, BJ? Yep, I see it right there. That's off one little hinge, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? 
you just gotta get it right. <laughs> the tires really make the shine. That's she what gotta I'm have the rim shining too. Yep, yep. Shout out to Auburn Valley. You know they didn't look me up. <laughs> Man, we got the leaderboards over here. You see your boy on the vert. Huh. And your boy on the broad. Get right. Shoot over here. This is the sports science section of the weight room. We got a whole bunch of stuff going on. This is brand new. We ain't even started these yet. Some VR? Okay, you know football VR. That might be some we ain't even released yet. Unreleased, unreleased. This is a jump place that we be testing verts on. Test pulls. You know, test measurement in your hand, test your broad jump, test your height, wingspan. Dude, yep, out here, leaving Panda Express. You know, one of the benefits we do got is uh, being able to go to certain food spots and be able to use what we got called Red Card. It's just another way for us to pay for food items and just another way for us to eat some extra if we need to. You know, it's so one of the spots that we got on Red Card is called is, uh, Panda Express. So, I'll be going up to Panda and I uh, get me some food from Panda. Simple. Bag secured. Also, when you're eating Chipotle, you have to get the plastic fork. You can't eat it with your regular utensils at home. It doesn't taste nearly as good. So, a uh, little tip for you guys. This being my sixth year, I think one of the things I've learned just in my time being a college athlete is this time goes by really fast. Um, you know, I've been here in Pullman for six years. Uh, I've seen a lot of changes, been through a lot of hardship. You know, my first coach being Coach Leach. He left for Mississippi State um, and then tragically passed away. So um, just that was a big thing coming in. Didn't get a lot of playing time my first year. I came in, wasn't really focused the way I should have been. Um, I feel like a lot of athletes coming into college right now, they think, or at least I did, was, okay, I was the best in my area. Like, the competition shouldn't be that different. Um, but it, it, it's a real, it's a real wake-up call, a very humbling experience going through it. You know, because everyone in the team in college is the best in their city, best in their area. Realizing that early on um, kind of humbled me. One thing I would say just in my six years, understand that your commitment, your word still means a lot. Just understand that there's not always greener pastures somewhere else. Um, you can really do a lot for a community if you stick it through and fight through those adversities and it grows you as a man. Um, I was able to accomplish a lot just from my commitment here and it opened so many pathways and so many opportunities. I guess one thing I stress at the end of all this is just try and stick it out through all that stuff. I, I really believe that if you have a right mindset and you work hard and you dedicate yourself, the dreams, the goals you have are gonna come to fruition. And if not, God has a set path for you and you're gonna be a lot better off if you just trust that path. Well, what we got here today, tell me something. You got a turkey bacon club over there on sourdough or yep. lamb and garlic chicken on a baguette. Nice. Woo. I'm gonna go turkey bacon for sure. I, you know, I'm hoping the same things. There we go. Thank you. Man, leaving the stadium right now. You got some of these NFL Huskies. You know, KT, Joe Tryon, Kyler Gordon, Trent McDuffie. You feel me? Keep going down the line. We got Buddha Baker around the corner, Shaq Thompson, Byron Murphy, Miles Gaskin, Will Disley, Vita Vea Boy. Coming down the line. What's going on, man? About end of the day, just got out of them last position meetings after class. Uh, got my to-go meal, going back to the crib. Got what I got, a turkey bacon club sandwich. You know, finna go eat some, and then go back to the crib, relax a little bit, touch upon this homework, watch some film, KO, do it all over again tomorrow. Today was a good day. I got a lot of stuff done, day in the life up at WCU, so I hope you guys enjoyed it.